Most websites contain lots of tests and for very good websites, they're usually looking very aligned and have different hierarchies. All depends on the use and importance of the message being passed. In this video, I'm going to show you the secret as to how senior designers achieve a perfect typography skill. I'll also show you how to work on the line hat, snap it right into a perfect eight point grid. So, Let's get right into it. Let's start learning. Most of our UI design, user interface design projects should include headings from one to six. Then we also have the body text, the large ones, the regular and the small ones, right? Just so, just like we have in this design here, you can see this is like a heading. Then you have the small description. They're all different size and um, font sizes that we used here to achieve all this. But you can see there's some level of hierarchy that has been achieved there and some form of consistency that has been achieved with the way the fonts has been used so that is the essence of having or what we're going to do now you don't need to do all the math in coming up with your type skill let me show you a website there's a website we can use to get a perfect type skill for our design so we're going to make use of this website typeskill.com you can go there when you come to this website the first thing you're going to um, do is to choose your base size mostly it's between 14 to 16 i recommend you use um 16 right because we don't want our tests we want our tests to be very legible on the website so the scaling just depends on how much you want it to scale while you're increasing maybe you're going from a heather one to a heather two heather three and there about so if you say you want it to increase based on 1.250 to increase as much as that some people use the golden ratio right but you can see how large a golden ratio gets when you use that right so you, you're basically increasing with um, a scale of 1.618 However, for UI design, I typically want to use a 1.2, that's a minor third, just because it's, it's not too large, right? It's not like it's a graphic. Some graphic designs require you use as much large fonts. But for UI interfaces, uh, mobile application, website interfaces, we want this font to be like compact. So I try to use this one, right? So, um, let's say for our 16 you can already see that we already have 16 right so if we go up again now we can say that the next item size here is a 19.2 then i can copy it here and i will give it my my i'll give this one this paragraph large i'll give it a 19.2 right then this one i'm going to leave it as 16 right I'm going to leave it at 16 so I'm going to look for a font now that is a scale lower than 16 which is this one here so I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it here all right so sometimes just for to use an even number I like using even numbers sometimes when I make designs because I don't like the point that comes to with this I kind I sometimes round it up to the nearest whole number even number like this one that is um 12 or 13.33 either bring it down to a 12 or I take it up to a 14 so that's this for this one so then for this particular one you can decide what you want your um, beginning your header to be so let's say with what we have here which is a um, 14 and um, 47.78 I can copy it and paste it here right then do to be my header but again you can go ahead to check it on a design let's say you want to use your design this particular one you can see this one i gave it as much as a 64 right so if you don't want your header one which is your highest header to be a um 47.8 you can go ahead to increase it the size here you can go ahead to increase the size but for this site here you will have to like subscribe to be able to increase it but again the magic to this is to adjust the time set so if you use your calculator like this so we already have um a 47 point 47 point 78 all we have to do is to times it with the scaling that system we're using here which is times 1.0 to two right this will give us the next number right this, so the next number is going to be 
right so if we also go ahead so let's say we don't want to use a 57 we want to use a another number higher we can times it and it gives us a 68 but let's go ahead and use a um 47 so that will be um so this header here is 47.78 times 10 times 1 point so we have um 57.336 so let's give this a 57.336 all right So the reason why this is not adjusting is because I didn't create an auto layout. So I'm going to select this, create an auto layout with this, choose this again, create an auto layout, and then select this, create an auto layout too. Because I want it to adjust accordingly. I'm going to increase this frame a bit. So with this one, we already have we've given it a four um 57, right? So for this second one, we can give it this or this one. So once I just click my mouse on it, I automatically copy out the number and I paste it here. Paste it here. This second header will be a 39 points. This and this third one will be 27. So this other one will be 20. And this last one would be um okay so this one is a 23 and this one is a a 19. so let's be sure that we're correct this one is a 57 47 after 47 we have 39 after 39 we we should have a 33 yes that's where the issue was coming from so i'm going to push this and give it to 33 so after 33 we have this and we have this so this is like a perfect scaling all right so if you're working with a point grid system um i'm going to put the link on my on this video now so if you want to learn how to have an a point grid you can also do that so let me show let's let's open this up very well so let's create let's go there let's create a frame so this um, grid layout grid is structured to an eight point grid right so if we take this now let's put this here if we want this height now the height of the test the line height now to be according to our eight point grid all we have to do is to come to this line height here we could give it let's say a number that is divisible by eight let's give it this eight you can see it's too much so let's give it a 24 we give it a 24 you can notice that this snaps right into our grid line you can see once i move it it's actually moving together with our grid line so once you use this type of um, type scaling right and you want it to be according to like to work with your eight point grid layout that you have you can just walk around the um line height here make adjustment and make sure the number you're using is divisible by eight you can also make sure the number is divisible by four so if you really want to go that maybe you're looking for a um the spacing or the padding or the line height is to, you want to use a smaller value you can use a number that is divisible by four let's say a 12 you can use a 12 there you can use a, a um uh a four there so yeah that's um, basically it Thank you for watching. I'll see you next tutorial.